So my name is Ryan Rittenhouse, and I am the anti-coal organizer here at Public Citizens Texas office. Well, here at the Texas office, we focus on environmental and energy-related issues, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, and so there's two sides to that. Uh, part of it is our advocacy for renewable energy and energy efficiency. But the other side of that is uh, what we're against, and that is, of course, dirty energy, things like coal power. And predominantly, that's uh, what I spend most of my time doing here, is fighting coal plants. Well, a uh, large part of my job is uh, going to the actual communities where coal plants are proposed and seeing if there's local opposition, which there always is, um, and helping those folks out, helping give them a voice, uh, not just in their local community, which is really up to them more than anything, uh, but helping them get networked with other people like them in their community, helping educate them about the specifics of why coal is bad. Also giving um, those groups uh, a voice in the regulatory process at TCEQ uh, and at the legislature and at the state and other state levels at other state organizations and at the federal level too, and to a lesser extent. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio originally. I'm a damn Yankee, and I guess you'll have to edit that out. But, um, yeah, I don't, we don't consider ourselves Yankees in Ohio, even in Cleveland, which is the big city. Um, we think of as the people from New York as Yankees, but I learned it crossing the Mason-Dixon line that they kind of just consider anybody north of that a Yankee. So, but I love Austin, um, and I'm very passionate about environmental activism, and if you're going to be effective at fighting coal plants, particularly in terms of their impact on global warming, you need to come to Texas because this is where that fight is. Uh, we have 12 coal plant proposals. Actually, we have more than that now, which is far more than any other state. And we have more existing coal plants at 17 than any other state. Now, this is the energy capital of the country. Uh, and I think we should still be the energy capital of the country. We just should be getting that energy from a different source, not coal. And it's only because we have allowed industry like coal companies to just shrug off these massive, massive costs, these hidden costs, onto us, onto our health and our children and our elderly and our environment and all the other creatures living on this planet. That's the only way they've been able to be so profitable over all these decades. If they were actually held responsible for all of these costs, no one would ever build a coal plant. They would be far too expensive. And that's the point that I try and get through to people all the time is, coal is not cheap. It's extremely expensive. You just don't pay the cost on your electric bill. Yeah. It's paid for by people that get sick. It's paid for by having the Appalachian Mountains blown to heck. And having the second most biodiverse region on the face of the planet be irreversibly destroyed. You know, that's major cost. Uh, the transition to green uh, energy has to be just, it has to be sustainable. So we can't just ignore the impacts of increased bills on consumers. Now, that said, the fact of the matter is it won't raise prices all that much. Uh, wind energy is not that much more expensive. Uh, solar energy is coming down literally every day in price. Uh, the technology is here now. And the fact of the matter is, yes, bills might go up some, but bills are going to go up anyway. Even if we did nothing, and even if we just built more fossil fuel plants and more nuclear plants, heaven knows bills would skyrocket if we started building more nuclear plants. That's far more expensive than renewable energy. Anyway, that's it. I digress. Um, my favorite book is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I read it for the first time in fifth grade and never found a better one. I mean, there, don't get me wrong, there's lots of great books out there, but uh, The Hobbit is my favorite.